Okay, this is Mongoose Jake here, and I have got one heck of a huge package from Ryan Inglestad, and I will put his information in the description below where you can find him on his own channel, as well as you can also find him under his name on Facebook. But this is one huge box, and I'll give a little bit of backstory here. Him and I had worked out a, a little deal after I had seen how much success he had thrifting. And I had seen him specifically find a Busby Torrent. And I can't ever find one. And that's one blaster that Busby made years ago that I would really love to get my hands on. Long story short, I asked him if there was any way, if he had multiples of them, if I could buy one. Well, he didn't want me to buy one. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He instead wanted me to trade with him for it. And we went through some, went through some deals and said... Uh, Basically, I was going to modify a blaster, and we agreed on the uh, Busby Tactical Storm, because I'm a Busby guy. So I was going to take a Busby Tactical Storm that was basically very lightly used. I reviewed it, so it had been used for just a couple months, personally. And I was going to modify it as I would for me to run as a primary. Basically, 150 feet per second, around about, with my typical mods and send it to him in exchange for a torrent, and if he had one, a RADS-12. So that's all the box should have been, was about, oh, maybe about that big, by that small. Instead, he has sent this monster of a box. And for some perspective, my whole work area is six feet long by uh, 22 inches wide. And this box takes up about a third of it of the whole space. So this is a monster of a box. But to make this short and quick, I'm going to tear into this thing. Well, slice into it. Slice and dice more than tear. And we're going to find out what in the world he has put in this box. Already I am seeing I'll have to cut that out. <laughs> I just had a bit of dark salt. Okay. Inside the box. Oh, first off, I see a, I see a note. Okay, it says, Mungus Jake, uh, good morning, afternoon, evening. Of course, he doesn't know when I'm going to open this. It says, hope the day finds you well. The enclosed has a box of fun. Hope you enjoy all of the Busby goodness. Hoping selection is to your liking. I greatly enjoy your videos. With all the time it takes for testing and data collection you provide for other nerfers. Wish you all the best for the future and keep on nerfing. I mean, buzzbeing. Your friends, Ryan, Michelle, Greta, and Gabe. Very nice touch. Thank you. And I did put a, I did put a, a note in yours, your package that I have already sent. Which I gotta remember to give you the tracking number there, Ryan. If you are watching this, oh. I don't know what you paid for this, but it's already too much. I love the boss. This is a Busby boss, brand new in the package. Keep in mind, um, these things, this this Air Max line from Busby should have been the mega killer. This should have destroyed Nerf's mega line. All of these perform better than everything Nerf had, but unfortunately, they never just took off. The Tyrant and the Boss, MagFed, Top Prime, very good performance, even if stock. I mean, you don't have to modify these things. These do very well stock. And I have been actually looking for one of these that ha have not had much luck. Thank you very much for that alone. That's awesome. Oh, he sent the... Uh, this is the X-Shot... This is the X-Shot uh, Reflex 6 under the Adventure Force label. And this is one of the Adventure Force ones that I actually find it to look very, very nice. It actually has the uh, blue, white, and it has a uh, translucent green handle. I was just looking, almost picked one of these up, actually, uh, because I was, going to, I was going to see if Boomtendo still sold his 
Boomco cylinders, because Boomtendo made a, a Boomco cylinder for this. And this one, he, he makes them for the Nerf hammer shot, but I don't think it has enough power to really do Boomco justice. The, this has a big plunger tube in it for a, a pistol, and this could, actually, this could actually work for that. But otherwise, these are very good pistols, so thank you very much. Get this out of it. What am I seeing in here? I'm seeing a couple of different sizes of Phillips screwdrivers with nice rubber handles. Always, always, uh, screwdrivers are always a good thing to have, no matter what, even if you've already got them. How many things has he stuffed into this? That's an old Busby Tech 4. I have one of these already, but the one I thrifted, the uh, priming handle's broken. So you had the pole right here. I've modified mine and it actually does it actually does decently. I cut the dart post out and I put a better seal on the turret. You have to actually turn this by hand. But it's kind of a neat, almost sci-fi-ish looking pistol. And he included it in a holster. So there's yet another holster. Awesome. I'm gonna have to pass along some of these things here. Oh, hey, Tech 3s. I love the Tech 3s. Gems. I just did a review on the Gem. Very, very good little blaster. Uh, highly modifiable. They can take a pretty good spring. You can put a you can put a retaliator spring in these and make these have some serious punch, which they already do. They already fire. They're actually more powerful than a retaliator even stock. Oh, okay. That's the AirTech 8. For those of you who don't know, this is basically uh, a small hamp. Every time you fire it, it is pumping air. He got it his for 99 cents. That's a good buy. Because that's actually a decent blaster. It cut the dart post out. Um, none of these dart posts will work. But that's actually, it actually is potent if you work on it. Oh, cool. Ultimate Snipe Blast. Yep, Ultimate Snipe Blast. That is where the snipe, that's the snipe before the snipe. And this is all part of their little uh, power system where it clicks in together. Oh, that's pretty cool. This, I don't remember exactly how they go together, but they all do hook in together in different ways. And this is the Ultimate Rapid Blast. This is a semi-automatic flywheel blaster. And he's actually got the darts in it. Always good to get your hands on Busby darts, the old ones. In case you don't want to modify a blaster to work with them, the more of those you got, the, the better off you are. So those are some oldies but goodies. I, I love that. Another tech free. Awesome. People might joke about them, but these little things are fine for indoor indoor battles with your family. That's, that's the idea behind that. That doesn't feel like Busby. That's not. I know what this is. And Ryan, you really shouldn't have on this. I know what these go for. This is a 35 round drum that's in very good condition. I mean, this actually qualifies as very good condition. These things aren't the easiest to find, at least uh, in my searching. Uh, I've never thrifted one. I've ever, I actually have never been able to thrift a drum, period. But these are one of my preferred ammo holders, you'd say. When it comes to magazines, I like six round magazines. I know that sounds silly, but they're, they can fit in your pocket. I love the Worker or the Omeo 22s. And I love the Nerf 25 and 35 round drums. The more, the more ammo per, per container, the less you have to reload. You know, Especially with full auto, these 35 round drums are awesome. I mean, you throw this in a Springer, because I am a Springer fan, you throw this in a Springer, you can run through a whole you know, game with your family and never have to reload. Or if you're like me, you carry a dump pouch and you have two or three a minute, and you can just be shooting all over the place. So I really, really appreciate this. This is, I mean, these things, these things alone go for about 15 to 20 dollars when people are trying to actually make some money off of them like on eBay but that thank you thank you very much that is that's too much he's already went way above and beyond because here's one of the blasters I'm gonna actually I'm gonna save that I see a pouch here this is a pouch 
I'm sure he intended that like as a dart pouch, which I can pass that on. He's got some darts in it. Oh, I see a patch. We're going to see the patch first. Minnesota Thunderdome. I'm sure that's their local group. Thank you very much for sending that to me. I'm going to... I'm actually going to have to rework my filming area. I have my blaster wall over here. I have a smaller blaster wall over to the left. They kind of flank each side of my workspace. Um, I normally film over here to my right. I need to rework that because I'm going to have to include some, some neater things instead of just blasters. So I'd like to... I'd almost like to put all my patches or stickers because I know like Broke Nerfing is going to get himself some stickers or already has. But I'd like to, you know, put a put those like above or to the side of some blasters and then just have my favorite blasters. I'm going to have to redo that, especially after what I'm seeing down in the bottom here. But I see got some Busby walking dead series darts this is the long distance darts in the gray foam with orange tips thank you very much i like i like collecting anything that's kind of special edition for busby because yeah I, I am a busby fan and I had something fall i've got a that's a, a pocket phillips precision phillips screwdriver that'll be quite nice and handy especially if i put it in a little tool kit and i see a a clip this can actually go into being used for uh, slings and whatnot. So I, I do make my own slings for the most part. And here is a dark pouch. This is kind of a repurposing because I know what this is. This is a pet storage bag. It's meant to like you clip it around something, but that actually could work on your uh, on your side to hold mags, darts, or even a couple drums. So that's nice. I, I'm gonna. I do plan to. Uh, will say re-gift some of this in giveaways. So I'm not just gonna hoard it all, even though I there's a lot of this that I definitely want to keep. Like this is one of the this is one of the blasters that I was actually really wanting. This is one of the two that we made the deal on. Well it was primarily what I see the barrel of down there. Rad's 12 is really cool to me. It's not no it's not a high performer, but I don't I don't care about that. It's a four turreted blaster where the whole thing when you prime this whole thing turns and each one of these individually spin instead of just doing like a 12 barreled drum mounted here on the front they did it in a very neat way see that if you pay close attention the whole thing turns and then each individual one spins i don't i don't know i just i find that very neat it's just a big chunky pistol. Easy to prime. I don't know. I, I, I just, I've always wanted to get my hands on one. And, well, now my hands have, are on one. So thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, now this one. Oh, I see a ruler. Well, you can't ever have too many rulers. That's rule, rule of thumb. Yeah, cheesy pun. I know. But I like cheese. And I like puns. That's what I was after. The Busby Torrent. For those of you who don't know what this piece of awesomeness is, it is a shotgun style or shot pump shotgun style blaster that has the Busby shells loaded in to an internal drum. You load them all up, put the darts in the shells, put the shells in the drum, close the hatch. Pump it. Of course, that that's gonna be a dry shot. Nope. No. Oh, okay, it already fed, and then it ejects the shell on the next pump. I'm gonna do it this way so you can see it. So fire, and then I'm gonna show you right here, and then it ejects the shell out. That is totally cool. To me, that is just that's totally cool. That, just that whole shell ejection. Because the, pe because the people who say that the shells are impractical and useless, they're wrong. That's right, they're wrong. It's fun. Shells, the shells are fun. You know, just being able to, when you pump, boom, there goes a shell. There goes a dart. There, wow, I really launched that one. 
There goes a, sh a shell and a dart. Shell, dart. Shell. Oh, I'm out. And then you just reload them. It's like I I've known about this blaster for a long time, and I've never found a one that wasn't ridiculously overpriced. Like I've seen somebody selling one of these things for for forty dollars. And yes, I like I love Busby. And this is one of them I've wanted to have, but I'm not paying forty dollars for a Torin. See, there we go. Ready to fire? And oh, I love that. I love that. But yeah, yeah. Then you have to just load it all up. You put them in there, and it just flings the shell out. Which, if you were going to run this um, outside, just put a bag over here. You know, or keep a bag to where, keep an open dump pouch to where when you pump, you could bring the blaster down to the dump pouch and fire it into there. That way you could actually keep going. But this is what I was wanting. I modified I modified a blaster and sent it to him. I did include other goodies with, with it. Not on the extent he did. I mean, this is insane. Uh, I'm going to leave all the shells and darts in there. And then we're going to go back over what he sent. There's the piece de resistance. The torrent. And the Rad 12. That was, keep in mind, that's the only two things that were mentioned. It was really just the torrent, if he could get me a torrent. And then we, I said, well, if you got a Rad 12, I'll take it. And I originally, you know, wanted to buy him. But then he also included the classic Ultimate Rapid Blast and the Ultimate Snipe Blast to go with it. A AirTech 8, which even as a Busby guy, it, it eludes, it um, escapes me. If this was re-released as a 10-shot blaster in the gray and blue color scheme and I forget what it was called, but it's basically a mini Sidewinder or Barbarian. They re-released it and I really I really don't remember what the new blaster's called. It's gonna kill me. Um, I'll try to caption it here. But that's that's actually a pretty good blaster. You can just hand it off to somebody. Everybody can do that. Just got I just gotta do some work on those dart posts because if you put elite darts on there, it will either A not fire them very well, or these will actually tear the foam sometimes. Got a pouch full of Tech Breeze, a couple gems, Tech 4. Got the uh, Nerf drum. Got a dark pouch. Got a uh, holster. And a brand new Air Max Boss. And the new Adventure Force Destroyer, which. I do appreciate because I, I am also a big fan of the X-Shot Reflex. That's a very, very good six-shot pistol. I, I personally hold that in higher regards than I do the uh, Nerf Strong Arm and Disruptor. Uh, that's I prefer that over those. And I never, never have too many of those. I will, I will probably, even as much as I love it, I will probably hang on to this to do a giveaway with. Uh, you're not getting the Busby stuff out of my cold dead hands. I this especially this group right here, no. I mean these these aren't as sought after as some of the more rare uh, nerf things, but they're special to me. And I do appreciate that. I love Busby. They're they support my channel. I'm gonna always I'm gonna always have a special place for them because they do help the community out a lot. They send things to people who wouldn't get recognized by Nerf in a million years. And that's very nice. And I kind of want to become a collector of the vintage Busby stuff. So that's a pretty good start. And to never get enough drums, these are one, one thing that I love. And now that the Air Max line's gone, I mean, this is special too. I, 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 won't, be, I won't be parting with that. I really appreciate all this. It was way more than I ever expected. I really just expected to get a box with with these two in it, or maybe even just the torrent. 
and that still would have been worth it to me. But all this is awesome. And I will pass along a number of these items and share them with other fans of the hobby. But thank you, Ryan. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It's just kind of going to be a random video, but I wanted to make sure that he gets his credit for the generosity that he showed. And your package is on the way. I will uh, send you a private message, Ryan, with your tracking number. And I hope you enjoy yours, even if it's not on the scope of this. I hope you enjoy your package when you get it, just as much as I'm certainly going to enjoy tinkering with all of this. But this is my Jake, and I thank you for watching.